petrol is getting more and more expensive day by day and it's becoming something that maybe in a couple of years you won't be able to use on a daily basis. So what do you do if you have a petrol car? Well, I think so Tata has a great solution to all of those problems. This is the Tata Tiago iCNG and today we want to find out if CNG can be a great alternative to petrol powered cars. Natural gas is the cleanest fossil fuel around, cheaper than the other non-renewable energy sources like diesel, petroleum, coal. With natural gas, energy transition gives us perspective while we are running out of fossil fuels. Natural gas is the most eco-friendly fossil fuel. It is a bridge from hard coal and oil to renewable clean energy. Compressed natural gas or CNG is only 1% of the volume it occupied before. Producing CNG is a long and complicated process, but in the end, it remains gaseous and contains important substances like methane, nitrogen, CO2, propane and ethane. The advantage of CNG is that it has a better heating value than petrol. While a car can take 100 kilometers with 10 liters of petrol, 6 to 7 liters of CNG is enough to take it the same distance. Moreover, the price of CNG depends on the global market to produce it, but it still remains the cheapest source of fuel for cars today. Now, I think the Tata Tiago is one of the most mature looking cars in the segment. I'm a big fan of the latest design language of Tata and this is no different. Now, face Tiago which was introduced I think two three years ago and the older Tiago used to look good and so does this. Now the Tiago takes inspiration from its elder brother which is the Altros as you can see from the way that uh, headlights have been shaped and especially the grill area it looks very it looks like a smaller Altros in my opinion even the bumper has been changed have this big uh, open area over here for the uh, radiator overall it's a very nice looking car it's finished in this black purplish kind of hue I'm not sure what the color is called but I think the attractive colors in the range as well that orange looks really nice and it pops in the sunshine so yeah a very nice looking car and I'm a big fan of looks coming to the rear end of the car it remains highly unchanged compared to the pre facelift model the tail lights are the same overall shape of the car has also not changed but that is nothing to complain about as i said it is a very handsome and mature looking car the car has a wheelbase of 2400 mm which is identical to its arch rival the santro the tiago has some alloy wheels which is a good feature to have in this segment but the design isn't the most attractive Hey guys, today I want to recommend my friend's website called OneWin where you can earn money steadily and my favorite game on the website is the Lucky Jet game where your main task is to collect money before the pirate flies away. Now I have made a deposit of 3000 rupees in my account and I'm going to show you how to do it. After you have registered your account on OneWin, you basically have to replenish it. So press on the deposit button and select the Paytm method. After that you can go down to the Lucky Jet game which is in the OneWin game section. I will place two bets and wait for good odds. To earn money, I must have time to raise and earn money. Wow, <laughs> 1.55 times, I will take 2325 rupees and let's keep playing. Wow guys, 2.13 times and I won 3195 rupees. Now I will do the withdrawal of my funds. You must log into your account and click withdrawal after which you select the method which is most convenient for you and indicate the amount. That's it now, I'll just have to wait for my money. I will leave the link for this game down in the description below and the guys from OneWin have been very generous and will give our subscribers an exclusive offer which is 25,000 rupees for your first deposit when you play the Lucky Jet game and you can use our promo code DRIVERS500 to redeem this offer. The registration, the link and everything is down in the description below or in a pinned comment. Oh my god, the money has already been deposited in my account, now I can completely rest. Now before we tell you all of the positives of CNG, I think so you have to know the negatives because once you open the trunk of the Tiago, there is this massive tank which holds the CNG gas and it basically takes up the whole boot space of the car. And literally you cannot fit anything in the boot that's how big this thing is now of course if you take out some of these uh, nuts and bolts over here you can remove it but it kills the whole point of the cng part of this car and i think so this is a big downside because 
you need boot space every car needs boot space even if the tiago doesn't have the biggest boot in the world if you're going as a family to some sort of a resort or a family trip vacation or something like that you need some sort of boot space and well that's where the tiago takes the biggest hit in terms of its practicality now this is the problem that the trunk space gives you because there is no trunk space all of your baggage and all of your stuff basically has to come over here on the back seats and that's why we have kept it because you guys need to understand that that trunk space the lack of trunk space basically is a big problem but apart from that if you can overcome that problem somehow the back seats are actually pretty good you have quite a lot of space you have decent amount of knee room this is my uh, driving position and probably if you're someone who's a bit taller than me i'm around 5 8 uh, you will have a problem but again this is a pretty small car it goes against other small cars in the segment and compared to those car it has a lot of uh, space over here in the back there is the lack of a center armrest which is kind of needed nowadays but again it's a economy hatchback you can deal with those things because you're going to be using this car for commuting from a to b Now up in front well it's pretty much like any other Tata that you can get nowadays the steering wheel is shared with the Altros but since this thing doesn't come with cruise control the right hand side of the steering wheel is basically a blank space but the horn function is still there you can tap on the side of the steering wheel to access the horn uh, but compared to the Altros you can definitely feel that there is a little bit of lack of space because the cubby holes in the doors are not that big you can't really fit a bottle over here but in place of that Tata has given two bottle holders over here in the middle so that you can keep your water bottle or your drink or whatever but there is no armrest uh you have a Harman uh, infotainment system just like the Altros but this one is integrated into the dashboard and doesn't stick out over here it also has Apple CarPlay and Android Auto and it's wired again not a big issue now the instrument cluster of the Tiago is quite a bit different to the Altros you don't get a digital display like the Altros but it's kind of like a analog instrument cluster not a big fan of how it looks it's a little bit difficult to read it sometimes but i'm pretty sure it's something that you can get used to your ac controls are over here but one big thing that i really don't like about the tiago's interior is this blank space over here near the ac controls i mean they could have easily integrated the fan blower speed or the ac temperature over here but it's literally a black space for nothing at all Now CNG is something that's not really new it's been there for decades and it's a good thing that auto manufacturers are recognizing the need for CNG tanks in small commuter cars like the Tiago and well I think so that's going to be the norm from now on because CNG is pretty cheap to fill it's at 91 rupees per kg and roughly almost all CNG cars that are there in this segment do about 150 to 200 kilometers on a single tank of CNG now considering that this is a 9 to 10 kg tank it is approximately 900 to 1000 bucks to fill your tank of CNG and you can you can get 200 kilometers out of that and for daily commute i think that's perfect when you have to go out of state when you have to go on a road trip that's when the petrol engine can be used and you can exploit that more smoother driving experience and the greater range and cruising capability of the normal petrol setup Now what I think these auto manufacturers should do is that they should actually find a better way to integrate that CNG tank into the car because currently it's very difficult to use it because if you're going for any sort of grocery shopping and you're four people inside the car well you will have to carry that stuff in your hands and that's a big problem so if they can find out a better way to integrate that CNG tank I think so CNG cars are probably the future of daily commuters for india and i think so that's a really good thing because we're saving petrol engine cars we're not using that much fuel and plus cng gas is much more friendlier to the environment you're throwing out less carbon dioxide in the environment and well overall it's just a much cleaner way to get around and that's why the tiago icng is one of the most interesting cars in the segment and if you're looking for something like this like a small commuter car i think so the icng is a good shout if you're just going to be roaming around in the city Now the Tiago ICNG is a very comfortable car just like its elder brother the Altros. I mean Tata has done some magic with the suspension of these cars and really Indian roads feel like nothing it feels like the autobahn in this car that's how smooth they are maybe that's a little bit of an exaggeration but genuinely the suspension of these cars is very plush and very compliant but what about the CNG factor and how do you actually activate CNG to drive this car 
it's very simple again you have this button over here on the center dashboard which says cng just click on it and you're instantly in cng mode does the cng mode make a difference well it's not that noticeable but if you've driven your fair share of petrol cars you will immediately find that the engine becomes a little rougher around the edges the throttle response isn't that good as when you're in petrol mode and those are the only main differences when it comes to the tank i think the tank is around 9 to 10 kgs it can hold around 9 to 10 kgs worth of cng inside it and again it takes up the whole boot which is a big problem but if you're going to be just commuting in the car, I don't think that's that big of a problem. Now, if you take the fuel economy of the petrol engine, which is anywhere between probably 15 kmpl in the city to maybe 21 kmpl on the highway, that's what we got. We can actually show you a picture of it. Well, this is a pretty efficient car and combine it with the CNG tank, you are getting quite a lot of range out of this car. I would say this car with both of the things combined can do around 600 to 650 kilometers in one tank of CNG and one tank of fuel, which is quite a lot for a small car like this. The engine is a 1.2 liter Revotron 3 cylinder. It is not the same engine that we got in the iTurbo Altros that we had gotten a few weeks ago. And I think this engine is a little bit more peppier than that Altros engine because in the Altros engine you had quite a lot of turbo lag. Yes, the lower end grunt was there but still a naturally aspirated engine has that power throughout the rev range. Of course, it's not as fast as the Altros iTurbo but I think it's a more accessible and usable engine for day-to-day -day commuting. Thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know in the comments down below what you think about the Tiago ICNG. And let me know if you think that CNG can be one of those fuels that can save petrol cars for the future. Till then, subscribe to the channel, like this video, share it with your friends and check out a new service called TDH Classifieds where you can buy tuner cars and project cars. Uh, this is Som Saraf and I'll see you in the next one.